In this video, I'm going to talk about uh, adding videos into the Power Pages site. Now, I have already covered a video uh, in my YouTube channel of adding multiple ways to uh, add videos into the Power Pages site. But one of the user named as Mayank uh, was encountering an issue with regards to embedding uh, video within Power Pages site. So what Mayank was essentially doing is basically he was embedding uh, uh, a video uh, which was hosted in SharePoint site uh, and uh, that site was basically uh, accessible by an anonymous user so anyone can access the SharePoint site so the sh video was hosted in a SharePoint site and uh, Mayank was trying to access that video in a Power Pages site and maybe I understand that Power Pages site was also from an anonymous access perspective so it was open for all so that was the basic requirement now uh, i can understand that uh, with the recent changes in the browser for the chromium versions uh, iframe options uh, were uh, a bit uh, uh, made in a stricter way so uh, anything you embed within an iframe uh, uh, went through a lot of security checks and then uh, most of your request would have been uh, refused to connect okay now let me uh, show you what i mean by that now i'm in this power pages site okay now in this power pages site there are like a couple of uh, pages now what i've done is like first setting i did is uh, i went to setup and and if you see here uh, under identity providers uh, i have uh, just disabled all the authentication okay so local sign in azure id i have just disabled it because i'm not going to use that from a site visibility perspective, I made this site as public site. So anyone can access this site. You can access it from any browser. Okay, so this, these are the settings I did. And when I uh, went to this pages under home, uh, under page settings, I made this permission as anyone can see this page. So anonymous access is completely enabled. Okay, so let me test this. So let me sync this site first, and then I will test this site. So when I say preview the desktop, so now I'm opening in the same browser context. So it is opening my page and it is not even uh, asking me to authenticate. Similarly, if I navigate to my uh, other browser, uh, here also it is not asking me to log in. Now, let me close this. Yeah. Okay. So. So uh, I have like the requirement is I have a SharePoint site. So this is one of the SharePoint site and I have uh, uploaded a video, a sample video, basically. Uh, it's an MP4 file uh, and I have uploaded it in uh, the SharePoint site. When on it, it opens in a stream. Uh, so that's the that's, uh, uh, video file. What I'm going to do is like, I'm going to use this video file. Okay, now if you see this, the path of this video file is uh, this is the document library till here. Okay, this is my site name, this is the uh, document library, and then the file name is sample intro.mp4. So if I just type sample intro.mp4, then it will. Uh, load the video okay so this is the basic url okay you need to copy now i'm in this power pages site what i'm going to do i'm going to click and i'll create a page called let's say v1 okay i'm going to click on add now under video if i click on video i it's not a youtube url it's not a stream url it's a video url and i'll just paste this click on ok now it loads in this interface let me sync this and let me open this video in a different browser so this is like an anonymous user browser and once this page is loaded I'll click on B1 and if you see this particular video is now loaded okay now remember this is like an anonymous 
user accessing a site which is accessible for all okay if i just do an f2 l just to see what happens when this video is loaded so it says that this injected script is loaded correctly and then you can um, view this video uh, correctly this video is loaded completely uh, if i close this developer tools i can maximize this video and i can see this video being played so that's how you basically uh, embed a sharepoint video in a power pages site which is uh, visible for the public okay so what are the steps we did first thing first thing first we need to make sure that you have a uh, proper sharepoint site so uh, i had a sharepoint let me open the sharepoint site over here yep so this is the sharepoint site i had let me refresh Yeah. So this is the SharePoint site which I had and it has a document library, uh, videos, PDS. I uploaded one MP4 video uh, into this document library uh, and I made this uh, uh, site as public. Okay, How to make the site as public is like you navigate to the SharePoint Admin Center. So let me navigate to the SharePoint Admin Center. And from here, under active sites, you can go into your site. Now, there are many sites for me. I just type in dev site. This is the dev SharePoint site. Click on the site and click on sharing. And then from here, external sharing, I can say site content can be shared with anyone. Okay. And that's why this video is accessible by uh, anyone. Uh, if anyone hits those URLs. Now, before you even test that, you need to first test the URL, whether it is accessible publicly or not. So this is the SharePoint video URL. Uh, now, if I go into uh, any external site, uh, so this is a different browser, but now I'm accessing the video from here and I can access the uh, video completely. Uh, so if it this is successful, then yes, definitely you can embed this video in or any of your power pages site but remember uh, one catch over here is that uh, if you go into say sharepoint site don't use this url once you say copy link and it will give you a link uh, this link will not work okay because if you see this link this link says some sharepoint token related component let's call uh, slash colon v slash s okay and some uh, characters over here now it it will it will not work. Uh, what you need to do is like you need to form your own URL. Now I told you that this is your entire URL and this is the file name. So if you append SharePoint intro.mp4 on top of it, then you will be able to access this URL. Or alternatively, you can select this, okay, and maybe click on details, okay, or the info. And if you scroll down then here under path if you see this path you just click on this copy direct link okay so you can copy the direct link and then paste that direct link and see it's the same url which we have just formed okay so that's how you copy the direct link from here so don't use this copy link from here uh, what you need to do is like you need to go into the details from here you copy the path and then use that in your power pages site so that's it, folks. Uh, I hope I have answered my query. Uh, so this is how you basically embed a SharePoint uh, site video content in your PowerPages site. Thanks for watching.